this is the circuit that I'm going to place to my breadboard. So as you can see, this is a series connection of battery, resistor, and LED. Schematic diagrams are visual representations of electronic component symbols. So I am going to connect this circuit on a breadboard. So the first thing that you do is to disconnect each component from each other. So you try to disconnect it here. Disconnect. Then disconnect this. Or I could disconnect it somewhere here. As you can see, each electronic component is separated from each other. And then you try to put the terminals. Okay, and then this one. Okay, so we have three electronic components here. The battery, the resistor, the diode. After disconnecting each electronic component, that's the time that you're going to get for your components. These are the components that I'm going to use for the circuit. So I have here a battery top connected with a 9 volts battery. Then I have also here my resistor. Any resistor will do since it's not indicated in the circuit. And then I have here an LED. So this is my LED. So the first thing that you do is to connect your battery top on your 9 volts battery. So 9 volts connected to the black wire. Okay, and the positive volts to your red wire. Then on your breadboard, this is the portion for your voltage supply. So I can place it anywhere on the hole. Remember that this portion here is a straight line. Cut and then there is another line here. Same thing with this line. So if you want to get the connection, you just concentrate your connections here up to this part, part. Now as you can see, the positive voltage supply is connected to one of the terminals of your resistor. You place one connection. Remember guys that resistors have no polarity. So you grab your resistor and then place one of the terminals of your resistor to your positive supply. So this is my resistor. Since it has no polarity, any terminal can be connected to the positive supply of the voltage. So let's try to locate the positive supply. This is the positive side. This is the positive supply. So you have to connect one terminal. I choose this part the left part so it should be connected since there is a connection on this line then i will place my terminal on any of these adjacent holes so i will place it here resistors are easy to connect because it has no polarity. So any terminal can be connected. 
Okay, so it's corrected already. And then going back to the circuit. Okay, let's try now focusing on the other terminal. So we're done connecting this terminal, the left side, the left terminal of the resistor. We move to the next terminal or the right terminal of the resistor. Where is it located or where is it connected? It's connected to the one of the terminals of the LED. Again, this is the schematic symbol of an LED. Now, notice that this is the positive side of an LED. Okay, I'll try to grab first my LED. Okay, so this is a red big LED. Okay. So most of the time, it has a flat surface. But in this case, it has no flat surface. The flat surface is an indicator that that is the side for the negative terminal. But since we don't have here a flat surface, we're looking for the terminal. Okay, as you can see, one is longer than the other. The shorter one, okay, this part, is the negative terminal. So this is the negative terminal of your LED. Now what if, for example, just so happen that you bought an LED which has the same length, the terminals have the two terminals have the same length and it has no flat surface. Okay? So we can make use of an analog tester. Later I will show you how to test the negative side and the positive side of an LED. But for the meantime, I will try to connect the positive terminal to the right terminal of the resistor or to the other terminal of the resistor. Okay, I will try to relocate my resistor. Anyway, it is connected. The positive terminal is connected up to this hole. Just to isolate the resistor. Instead of hanging it there, you can place it in any hole, anywhere here. Okay, so you're going to connect the positive, according to the circuit, the positive terminal is connected to the other terminal or the right terminal of the resistor. So since these are holes interconnected with a line, you could place your positive terminal of your LED anywhere here. So I decided to place it here. Okay. Now going back to your circuit. So I have to connect now the negative terminal of my LED to the where? To the negative voltage. So where is my negative terminal? This is my negative terminal. I'm going to connect it to my negative voltage. Where's my negative voltage? Here's my negative voltage. It's connected to it's connected to this line. Okay. So I can connect a wire from this going to any of the holes here. But to simplify it, I could directly connect my negative terminal to here okay so as you can see i fold i try to fold my resistor there will be no problem with that and then replace again my C, so which means that this is a closed circuit. So there you go guys, that is how you connect simple circuitries on your breadboard.
Okay guys, as promised, I'm going to show you how to test a diode. If it's defective, if it's good, which is the positive terminal or which is the negative terminal. Again, not all diodes have indicators or flat surface. Most of the time, they have flat surface. So, in this type of LED, no matter how I look for the uh, flat surface, I cannot see for the flat surface of this LED. So, in this case, I'm going to check for the negative and positive terminal. This positive probe is connected to this terminal. And this negative probe is connected to the other terminal. Observe. Okay, our LED lights up. Okay, which means that this is the positive terminal of your LED and this is the negative terminal of your LED. How could that be? Now, in an analog tester, the polarity of your analog tester affects the polarity of your LED during testing. During testing only. But still, the positive and the negative polarity applies. So that should be remembered. Okay? When you are testing LEDs, if the positive probe is connected to this terminal, this will be your negative terminal or the cathode. And this is the anode terminal. Okay, so let's try to shift the probe. So instead of placing my positive probe here, I will place it here. Okay, and then this probe to the other terminal. Okay, what do you notice? The LED doesn't lights up. Okay, so which means that this LED is good or functioning. Now, I have here a multicolored LED. Okay. Without a tester, well, so we'll try to look for the negative terminal of this LED. So this is the shorter, so this has a shorter length, so which means this is the negative terminal. So I'll place my positive probe on my negative terminal. Why is that? So because the polarity of the analog tester affects the polarity of the LED during testing only. Okay? So I'll try to connect. Okay. Marvelous. This is a multicolor LED. It emits colors red, green, blue, red, green, blue, and so on. Okay. Well, actually, this is quite more expensive than this one. Not that much. Okay. How do we test a resistor? To check. You have to place your ammeter range to the resistance value. So I have here a multiplier of 1. I can make use also of the multiplier 10, multiplier 100, or any of this range. Okay, try to notice. There is no fluctuation as you can see. But perhaps it has a very high value. Change again the range. Okay, as you can see, again, take a look. There is a deflection or a movement of the needle from this point up to this point. Take a closer look. Now, if you try to interchange the probes, there is still a deflection. If both sides have deflections, then this resistor is good or functioning. The moment you place your probes on any of the terminals and it doesn't move on any of these range values, even up to the maximum range value, 
then that means that your resistor is open. If, for example, you try to measure the resistance value and the needle fluctuates to zero, then your resistor is defective. Your resistor is shorted. Again, if there is no deflection, no matter how you change the test probes, for example, and no matter how you change the range limit, there is still no deflection or no movement of the needle, then your resistor is open. On the other hand, if your needle, this is for example, you try to test both terminals and your needle deflects to zero, then your resistor is shorted. So those are the proper ways on how to check a good or defective resistor. So for checking for the voltage supply, I already demonstrated that from my previous video. So just please check the other videos. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot. See you to my next videos. Goodbye and God bless.